Hey, so how do I get a 3% mortgage rate payment when the rates are actually at 7%? Everybody, welcome back. It's Jeff Quinton. I'm your host at the thequintongroup.tv. So today is uh, it's interesting. So my agents and I have been working on different strategies where you know, one of the biggest concerns today is the interest rate, right? So a year ago, rates are say at 3%. Today, they're at 7%. There's a 4% difference. So a lot of us right now are more concerned about, you know, what is the actual payment we have per month? Not so much actually the sales price. So we recognize today the sales prices have not come down. However, the payments have gone up because of the rate. So how do we negotiate the deal where your payment would be still the same at a 3% rate, even though it's at seven? Well, a few things to think about. Number one is, you know, ultimately, if you go to the seller and you say, hey, look, I understand you're listed today at 699. Ultimately, it's worth 699. You say, look, um, ultimately, I'll, you know, I'll negotiate with you or, or, you know, what I'll do is I'll pay you your price. We'll give you the 699. However, here's the situation. You know, a year ago, the payment was 3%. That's the rate I would love to have. So my payment on this purchase today, let's call it $3,000 at 3%. However, now it's 7%. So my payment's going to be $3,500. So it's a $500 difference or let's say $6,000 a year between the payment. Purchase price is the same. But the difference cost and payment between three and 7%, let's just for the tents and purposes here is $500 per month. What if you went to the seller and say, hey, Mr. Seller, look, I'll give you your number, but ultimately here's what I want. You know, I want four years worth of my payments covered by you. Put it in an escrow account, whatever the difference would be between the 3,000 I felt that it should be and versus what it is. So what if you went to the seller and say, look, I'll give you the 699, but I'm looking for a credit back for four years worth so in this case, $24,000, $6,000 per year, and I'll buy your home today, give your asking price. So two things happen. It's a win-win. One, the seller gets their home sold for the full ask. Yes, they do give you a credit back for the difference, say for four years worth of the difference between the rate and payment, you get the house. And then ultimately, I think we all understand within the next four years, rates will come back down, they'll settle out. Where they're going to settle out at, we don't know. But then there's an opportunity then for you to refinance at that point. In addition, why not structure a deal? Well, well, you're going to basically get a, say, a 10-year loan, right? Or, or an adjustable arm or not a 30-year full payout. We know the rates aren't going to stay at this level for 30 years. So you can get even a lower rate. But if your concern is about between the rate today and what it was, why not go ahead, negotiate with the seller and have the seller pay the difference on the payment of what you thought it should be or like it to be versus where it is. So for more tips and strategies on how to put a deal together like that, we're doing this all day long. Um, give me a call. Reach out, Jeff at thequintongroup.com or call me direct, 609-398-5333. Thanks so much for always watching.